high school football season right here in the Triangle and throughout Central North Carolina. This marks the first fall season in over a year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. CBS 17's Nick Sturt event live at Cardinal Gibbons. And Nick, I know a lot of families are excited, but safety continues to be a huge concern. Yeah, that's right, Angela. And there's still reminders out here that we are in the middle of a you know, pandemic. Now, take a look at behind me. You know, you see uh, Cardinal Gibbons is warming up on the field. Chambers High School coming all the way from Charlotte. They just left the field. Kickoff is in about an hour. I spoke with a parent who told me things feel normal ish, and we were in the middle of things as they got ready for the big game. Week one of the high school football season at Cardinal Gibbons High School doesn't start on the field, but here in the parking lot. Yeah, we're super excited. Just, I'm just happy that we're back to doing tailgating, and we're, it seems like things are getting back to normal. Hours before kickoff, families, students set up outside the stadium to tailgate. We missed out on so much last year, and we're so excited to be back here and to just enjoy the community and see the kids and see their faces. While there is a ton of excitement, the reality of COVID is still front and center. There are signs in front of the stadium reminding people to buy tickets online. Coming into this season, the North Carolina High School Athletic Association decided not to put out detailed COVID protocols, but instead recommending players and coaches social distance, coaches and officials avoiding close face-to-face -face communication. We just did this because we literally just did this. And again, you guys, kickoff against Chambers High School is in about an hour. I did reach out to school districts to see if any uh, games in our area were canceled because of COVID. Now, Cumberland County Schools got back to me earlier this afternoon. They told me uh, the game tonight uh, with Terry Sanford High School and Glenn High School was postponed. Uh, they did not release any details about how many coaches or players were infected with the virus. Live this afternoon in Raleigh, Nick Sturdivan, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you. And we will have more coverage of tonight's games coming up in sports. Plus, don't miss the kickoff of Friday Night Blitz, where we break down all the action from the best games happening throughout the Triangle. That's coming up tonight on CBS 17 News at 11.